Hello, my name is Robert Lehman. I'm an associate professor and the Mary F. Lane Endowed Professor in the Department of Health Education and Behavior in the College of Health and Human Performance here at the University of Florida. I'm excited for you to get a sense of our current projects and see our lab space in this virtual tour. I'm especially proud of the fact that my students took the lead in developing the script for this tour. You'll get to meet several of them on the tour today. If you have any questions about any of our research projects or anything you see on this tour, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Now on to the tour. Hi everyone, welcome to the University of Florida EDGE Lab. EDGE stands for Ethanol, Drug, and Gambling Experimental Lab. Our lab specializes in research relevant to addiction, substance use, sexual health behavior, and related conditions. Most of our research focuses on adolescents and young adults. We focus on learning more about risk factors for substance misuse and sexual behavior that puts people at greater risk for HIV. The risk factors we are most interested in are forms of impulsivity and other difficulties with self-control. We then work to create new interventions to help address these behaviors. Most of the interventions we work on are technology-based, such as smartphone apps. Our goals include HIV prevention, reduction of addictive behaviors, and learning more about impulsivity and drug-related cues. Part of our job is to ensure that we are creating interventions that are appealing and easy to use for a wide variety of people. Our team includes undergraduate students interested in health education, health science, psychology, and medicine, as well as our research coordinators, graduate students, and our very own principal investigator, Dr. Robert Beeman. The exciting thing about our lab is that we work together collaboratively to incorporate everyone's ideas. We have weekly lab meetings in which all of our members come together to discuss previous challenges, future goals, and improvements. We find that our team works the most cohesively and is the most productive when we collaborate. Now, we would like to show you some of the technology-based interventions we are working on and take you on a quick tour of our lab space. We conducted a study with finds that suggested that the use of this smartphone breathalyzer device with the use of a smartphone app could be part of an intervention to help young adults reduce their drinking. We excrete about 1% of the alcohol we drink through our skin via perspiration. This alcohol wrist sensor, called the Backtrack Skin, looks like a Fitbit. It is designed to measure that small amount of alcohol and report out a reading that's like a blood alcohol concentration. We're collaborating now on a study to test how accurate these wrist biosensors are both in our lab and in the real world among people living and not living with HIV who drink alcohol regularly. In another of our current studies, we are testing an app called Aldaic, which we developed with collaborators from the Department of Health Outcomes and Biomedical Informatics. The app provides personalized feedback to users based on their performance on a cognitive task called the Cued Go No Go task, which is pretty easy to do well on while sober, but becomes much harder after a few drinks. The app will provide feedback about whether the user performed the task more slowly or made more errors than before they started drinking, and will suggest possible consequences that they may face due to the cognitive impairment the app is picking up. The app will then ask the user whether they would like advice. The advice consists of tips to slow down drinking and avoid negative consequences. Our research group has also worked with a brief web-based screening and intervention called Thrive. Thrive asks the user a short series of questions and provides personalized feedback based on their responses. This enables a user to see how they compare to other people their age and gender. Thrive then provides tips to reduce drinking and avoid consequences, as well as facts about alcohol and local resources to change drinking behavior. In a 2016 study, Dr. Lehman and his colleagues showed that college students who completed Thrive reduced their average drinks per week more than students who received a standard alcohol education. We developed this app called Train Your Brain in a recent pilot study. There are many factors that underlie addiction. One such factor is that patients who have difficulty with substance use tend to pay a lot of attention to cues they are associated with the substances they use. We developed Train Your Brain to measure the extent to which patients being treated for opioid use disorder attended to words associated with opioids compared to neutral control words. The app then administers a task to try to train attention away from those opioid cues. In our pilot study, patients reported that they liked using the app and found it easy to use. We are preparing now for larger studies to test whether the app can reduce attention paid to opioids and ultimately be part of reducing opioid misuse. So now that you 
know a little bit about our research, this is Yon Hall North where we conduct our research and it's located right under the football stadium. So some of these smaller rooms down this hallway right here we actually use for our participants one-on-one uh, -on -one situations. And these private room rooms, we assess their um, private health information, we get their consent, and then we also uh, um, give them some psychomotor and cognitive tasks as well for them to complete. So this is where the research happens and in this room research assistants create study material, input data, and also we have our participants come in here and take surveys and yeah. So we are standing currently in the most unique feature of the EDGE lab, our bar lab. This is where a lot of our participants will come and sit, they'll talk to other participants, they'll get to watch TV, and they'll get to um, basically interact like it's a real life lab. And with that's the way we've set it up to make it as real as possible. So this is our Yon Hall conference room. This is where our lab actually conducts most of, most of its meetings. We hold it right here in this room, and this TV offers the ability to project any important data that we require for any important research papers that we're looking at, as well as it serves as a waiting room for participants where they can relax and maybe play some video games. As you can see, research is an exciting way to investigate ideas and topics that you are interested in. Research labs like the EDGE Lab are working every day to better understand people and the world around us. No matter what you are passionate about learning, research can help guide you and forge new paths in your future. Thanks for joining us.